This is a continuation of the previous tutorial in which we are going to talk about how to place a title, legend, north arrow, scale bar, and uh, tet on a map. So in order to insert a title of this map, go to insert, click title, and type the title. and you can move it to wherever you want to put it and you can also change its properties for example the size of the font size and that's how you add a title now let's add the legend to this map go to insert and select legend this is uh, there's only one layer but in case of multiple layers you can add the layers that you would like to appear in the legend go to next uh, this is the title of the legend that can be changed uh, similarly you can change the border and background colors um, and uh, you can change the size uh, and then just click finish you will see the legend appear as a rectangular box that can be moved again this is an object and this is how we add the legend notice how the text and numbers in the legend appear just like they appear in the table of contents which can be changed for example the um, the heading of the legend can be changed to your admitted and it will change accordingly in the legend similarly the numbers are as decimal places uh, as floating point numbers so I can change this uh, by clicking it and changing it to before 1796 and removing the zeros and notice how it changes um, then I can change the second one from 1996 to 1821 and notice how it changes in a similar manner I can change all the other numbers so um, go ahead and add a north arrow and scale bar using the same mechanism from insert menu when you add the scale bar you will see that the units are decimal degrees these can be changed to any other units by double clicking it and changing for example in this case I will change it to miles and notice how the numbers as well as the scale changes I can resize it to make it look uh, uh, more uh, reasonable in terms of uh, the numbers we'll do one last thing to complete this map by adding text there are two types of text uh, a dynamic text which is more of uh, something that will change every time for example if I put the current date this is a dynamic test text and every time uh, you reopen the map it will change according to what the date uh, the current date is the other type of text is um, a regular text which in this case uh, I'm gonna put prepared by and you can put your name so that um, it um, um, has your marker and that's how you put dynamic and normal text on a map so I would like to emphasize uh, this point again that you have the page and all of these objects on the page have their own uh, rectangular extent and their properties can be changed as needed by double clicking them so um, now you can save this map go to file save and notice it's an untitled map you can go to the file where you want to save it so in my case I would like to save it 
in the lab one folder and let's call it date admission map and this map can be opened at any time uh, it will appear just like this and you can change anything if you need to uh, in this uh, file um, now to, in order to create a printable map we'll go to file and select export map there are several options here that can be used um, for example in my case I will select a JPEG format and will print it exactly in the same folder lab1 and this will create a JPEG file in that folder one last point uh, you can always go back to the data view um, and also add new layers if you want to show more things on this map um, once uh, this is complete uh, this is how you close uh, ArcMap go to file and exit and this will uh, close ArcMap. So this concludes our tutorial about map layout and printing. Um, we'll talk about selection uh, tools in the next tutorial.